Welcome to the Copper King Mine and Railroad. Today we're going to talk about truck haulage wrecks. So stay tuned. We are here at the Copper King Mine tonight to show you the nighttime operation. We work 24 7, seven days a week at the mine in all kinds of weather, day in, day out. This is how I remember the mine because I work night shift or graveyard, 11 to 7. I worked driving haul trucks from 1970 to 1984, and most of that time it was at night. So we will move around the room and show you the different areas of the layout at night. Well, we might call it dusk because I have some red and blue rope lights in a balance what goes around the layout. This will give us a sunset effect. But today's video is not about nighttime operation. It's about truck wrecks or accidents at the mine. Now, these pictures, what I have, the mine management never intended for anyone to see these pictures. They were taken with the old Polaroid camera. So the quality is not too good, but it's still fun to look at these wrecks. I'm glad my friend Barry Skinner was able to save them. And yes, I had a few accidents at the mine. The worst one was in the middle of the night. The shovel was repositioning. So there was a lineup of trucks waiting. The shovel was cutting downhill. So it was waiting on a grade. I was driving a 150 ton truck. The truck in front of me was a smaller 65 ton haul pack. I was reading a book. They said I was sleeping, but I wasn't. I looked up and the shovel had his dipper out, meaning that he was ready to load. I saw this over the top of the truck in front of me. Forgetting that he was there, I went. I crashed into his bed. There was no damage to his truck, but my radiator was pushed in. The driver of the haul pack that was in front of me was Ron Chris. I, I used to ride to work with him, so I knew him well. Anyway, they gave me a ticket. I had a hearing and I got three days off because of it. I wish I had some pictures of that, but I don't. Anyway, so let's go look at some of these great pictures of these wrecks at Bingham Canyon. Truck wrecks. Truck College came to Bingham Canyon Mine in 1963. Now, with the coming of the trucks came accidents, so truck wrecks. We have a few pictures of these accidents that were taken in the late 70s and 80s. They were taken with old Polaroid cameras, so the quality is not very good, but it's still fun to look at these wrecks. The mine management never wanted the outside world to see these photos. They were taken to document the accidents for safety and disciplinary action. Now, my friend Barry Skinner saved these pictures right off the truck office floor as they were being thrown away back in the mid 1980s. So this is a fun and important time for me also, because this is when I worked at the mine driving these big haul trucks. So let's take a look at some of these great truck accidents. But first, let's go back to 1963 and look at the building of the Yosemite shop. It was named after an old underground mine what was out here. Now they built this shop in 1963. You see some of these great construction pictures. They had a first fill in the canyon around here and then they build all this uh, framework and everything of this shop. So some great pictures of this Yosemite shop. You see it right here when it was done taken in 1964 right here then we finally get some colored pictures of it and then we actually have some inside colored pictures of it right here that's really neat now this picture was taken January 1970 now this is how I knew it and this is the parking lot up here and the, the shops right there in the background then after that in the 80s and late 80s and into the 1990s they stopped using it and it was abandoned in this picture right here and then 
2003, they just buried over. Here's a picture of it being buried. The first trucks at Bingham were these 65 ton haul packs and KW darts. And here they are sitting on the ready line. Great picture of the truck sitting there. And then here's some pictures of them loading the trucks at the shovels. Then, like I said, over time, they just kept getting bigger and bigger. This picture was taken in 1976. Then some other pictures of the truck sitting on the dump and then some driving up the grades. And here's just a the haul road. This is what they drove on. And this is out, here's a picture out to the dumps where they would dump their loads. You see the traffic patterns were kind of confusing at times. And so they had wrecks, <laughs> they had accidents. Now this picture's <laughs> as I knew the mine in, in the middle of the night. I worked graveyard eleven to seven every day. Then let's take a look at the shop in the later on in the nineties and that and here's some Barry Skinner pictures of the inside of the shop and see these larger trucks in here. These are some great pictures of inside the Yosemite shop. It's kind of nice to have these pictures now that the shop is buried. And here's Barry Skinner himself sitting here. Great picture of him sitting there working on a truck and then him by this big motor right here. So let's go over and look at these accident pictures. This is really fun, I think. And like I said, the quality of these aren't very well, aren't very good, but uh, it's still neat to see them. I'm glad we have them. Now these first two pictures is taken, this one was taken in 1979 and it was a fire It was on this truck. The next picture was 1976 and it had a fire. Now this one was taken in 1978. It's inside the shop and boy that must have been some kind of accident. You can hardly see it. It's not very good but it's uh, just almost a framework in there. Now this picture right here has got two pictures of this night November 1979 and the 362 hit the 335. And this is a picture of the, of the 362. Now here's a picture uh, November 79 too, and the inside where the cab was up there. Now this picture is the another truck what was hit and it was uh, the suspension came right off of this uh, side right here. Oh this is neat this is September 1977 and this truck ran away coming down grade up in Highland Boy and they had a pulled it into the berm right there. Now this one October 1979 this engine shut down so he ran off the road and did some pretty good damage on that one. This is uh, September 1977 and this one looks like it broke its suspension. Now this one was September 1980 and this one it said it ran out of control in reverse and it went over the berm so it just sitting there over the dump there another picture of this was taken September 77 over in Highland Boy that's the 371 was sitting there then this picture uh, was an accident in the Thai area they just where all the trucks park and I guess somebody ran into somebody else that was September 79 now this picture right here just shows a truck at the shovel being loaded and they're digging in this limestone up there and it's really hard well this is pretty cool too this is a same accident this was the 453 and this is progress on them rebuilding this truck. So here's some pictures of that December 1977 of this rebuild of this truck. And it's inside the shop and finally it's done. The mechanics up there really did some great work up in that Yosemite shop fixing these things. 
Now this picture was taken in the 80s and the mine shut down for a while to put conveyors out, belts in. And this is where they was all sitting up here, just doing nothing for a couple of years. And after that, they started getting bigger and bigger, the trucks, and they're running really big trucks up there now, 300 tons and bigger. So that's the truck wrecks at Bingham Canyon Mine.